Hey guys, Zot here, and welcome to another World of Warcraft Classic video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at add-ons, and more specifically, add-ons that are going to be must-haves when it comes to player versus player. We've put a list together of our top 10 must-have add-ons, and we're going to explain why it's a must-have, and then show you the most optimal customization to make the most out of said add-on. So without any further ado, let's get started. Our first add-on on this list is going to come as no surprise to anybody who's played retail, and it's Omnibar. This add-on is so incredibly strong, we've got an entire video dedicated to setting it up for Retail World of Warcraft. That's just testament to how strong this add-on really is. So what is Omnibar? Well, Omnibar is an extremely powerful add-on that can help you keep track of your enemy's cooldowns. Fully customizable, you're able to go through each class and track the cooldowns of the abilities you want to see the most. For instance, as you can see here, you can opt to track Power Infusion, Psychic Scream, and even Silence coming from Priests. Whereas if you select Rogue, you can opt to track a wide array of both their defensive and offensive cooldowns. So this add-on is a must-have for a few reasons. First is that it just simply improves your awareness tenfold. Of course, in Classic, there is no focus frame. So when fighting multiple enemies, keeping track of certain cooldowns being used can be extremely hard if you miss visual cues. I personally get the most out of this add-on for interrupts. Being able to track your opponent's kicks can really give you an advantage when it comes to PvP, as knowing if a target has no kick available can allow you to freely cast. But yeah, the information and edge you can gain by tracking your opponent's cooldowns is just unrivaled. Setting up Omnibar is simple. First, type forward slash Omnibar. Then I suggest going into the Spells tab and going through each class, selecting what abilities you want to track. Now, some of these are far more important than others. For example, tracking Kidney Shot, Kick, Gouge and Blind is far more important for me than tracking a Rogue's Ghostly Strike or Evasion, as I play a caster. After you've sorted out what spells you want to track, go to Settings and there are some customizable options, giving you the ability to resize, move the bar around to wherever you want it on your screen, you can then hit test to see how it would look like. Then, once you've got the settings you're happy with, simply lock the bar, and you're good to go. Our next add-on on this list is going to be Lose Control. This OG add-on was so useful, it was actually built into the retail version of the game with Mists of Pandaria in patch 5.1. What Lose Control does is it puts a small icon in the centre of your screen when you're caught by a loss of control effect. This makes it easy to see not only the duration, but what crowd control you're currently caught in. So why is this a must-have add-on? Well, with your debuffs being at the top right of your screen, it's no secret that they are often not easily seen at a glance. Once you have Lose Control, it adds the debuffs that make you lose control of your character to the centre of your screen, making it easy for you to see so that you can then focus on more important aspects of your interface. Now, in regards to customization, there honestly isn't much to do with this add-on. It's simple, and that's what makes it so good. Simply download the add-on and you're good to go. Moving on, our next add-on is again playing around your buffs and debuffs and it's going to be an add-on players who've played retail are again familiar with. This time, I'm talking about Big Debuffs. Big Debuffs is again a very simple add-on, but extremely effective. Essentially, what it does is it allows you to see important buffs and debuffs a lot easier. In Classic, players can often have a large quantity of buffs on them at any one time. Big Debuffs will filter them and show the most important buffs on the player's unit frame instead of their portrait. Now this works for both friendly and enemy buffs and debuffs alike. As not only does it filter yourself and your target, but also your party frames, allowing you to see things such as when your healer is in crowd control, so you can then pop a defensive cooldown. Or if you're a healer yourself, you can see crowd control on your allies easier, in order to dispel if you're able to. Alright, so with this add-on, setup is again very straightforward. Simply download it and it's already going to be anchored to your unit frames and party frames. Then you can type forward slash big debuffs in order to bring up the settings. And in there, you're then able to filter specific buffs and debuffs, change the size, change the font, you name it. I personally, however, use this add-on with its default settings. Moving on, our next add-on on this list is going to be classic cast bars. 
this is an extremely lightweight add-on, but is just unrivaled when it comes to effectiveness. In classic World of Warcraft, cast bars for enemies simply do not exist, and players had to make an educated guess on what spell the enemy was casting, based off casting animations and game knowledge. What classic cast bars does is add exactly that to the game, so you can see not only what your target is casting on their unit frame, but also on their nameplate, which is so impactful when focus frames do not exist, as you're able to see multiple casts from different enemies. In terms of setup and customization, there isn't much to do. Once installed, the cast bar will automatically be anchored to both your nameplate and also your unit frame, but to adjust sizes and textures and even a few other things, you can type forward slash cast bar in game to access the options. Alright, so moving on, our next add-on is going to be something every single class that relies on auto attacks is going to need to get, and that's Weapon Swing Timer. In classic, auto attacks make up a large amount of your overall damage. Much like a cast bar for casters, this add-on allows you to see a cast bar showing when your next melee swing is going to be queued up. This also works with both wands and also ranged weapons for hunters. Not only that, but you'll also be able to see your target swing timer. So with this information, you're able to, if the scenario allows it, heavily play around your auto attack swing timer, especially if you are using a slow two-hander in PvP for classes like Warrior or Enhancement Shaman. Take this clip here as an example. My opponent is using the Manual Crowd Pummela, coming in at a 2.0 speed. I myself am using Bone Reaver's Edge, with a much slower 3.4 speed. My opponent's swing timer is a lot faster than mine, so I'm able to dip in and out of melee range to completely negate the fact he has a faster weapon. In regards to settings, you're able to type forward slash WST inside of game, then move the cast bars around, change the size, font, you name it. There's a lot of customization available, but without a doubt, this is one of the most important add-ons on this list if you're a melee and is a must have. Our next add-on on this list is Classic Aura Durations. Again, like quite a few add-ons on this list, this add-on is very simple and very lightweight and adds something to the game that you may take for granted if you're more familiar with retail World of Warcraft and that's the ability to see duration of your debuffs on a target. For example, I'm playing a priest and I use Shadow Word Paint on an enemy. Without this add-on, it's going to look like this. I'm unable to see how long it is until my Shadow Word Paint falls off the target. But of course, sure you can just simply watch and then reapply as it drops off. But honestly, it's just something you don't really want to deal with. And you could always potentially lose a lot of damage and or healing, especially when there's multiple targets involved. Being able to easily track your debuffs on targets and seeing when they're going to expire is very important. And not only does this add-on work for your own debuffs on targets, but you're able to easily see enemy debuff durations on your raid frames as well. Now for customization, there is zero. This add-on does exactly what I said and that's it. Install it and you're going to be good to go. But if you would prefer, you can pair it with Omni CC to see numerical timers instead of the swipe countdown. Chances are, I'm willing to bet if you've watched anybody play Classic World of Warcraft, you would have seen this add-on. That's just how powerful it is. Vanilla is a time where trinkets hold great power. Dedicated PvPers can have anywhere up to 20 trinkets on them at any one time. This is down to just how many different trinkets there are for certain situations. If you've seen our previous videos, you would have seen some examples of this, but there's trinkets ranging from passive stats, ones you want whilst mounted and even ones which are only good versus specific classes and all of them have very long cooldowns. Due to the sheer amount of trinkets and how important it is to have the correct trinket on for the correct situation you're in makes this add-on a must have as trinket menu allows you to easily swap between your trinkets on the fly. Mouse over the add-on and then you'll see all of the trinkets you have available in your inventory and then you can either right click or left click to equip the trinket in your desired slot, allowing you to be ready for any surprise world PvP you may have. As for setup and customization, trinket menu offers many features. You're able to auto queue up trinkets for when you drop combat, 
also equip trinkets in certain situations such as when you're on mount and you can even change the size and order of the display and also even keybind it. On the topic of changing items, our next add-on on this list is going to be item rack. Again, similar to trinkets having the correct pieces of gear on for certain situations is very important. Let's take a warrior for instance. You can potentially have PvP gear, resistance gear, mount gear, PvE gear, tank gear. You can have so many different pieces of gear that it makes keeping track of it all and equipping it quickly an impossible task. Well, that's without item rack. Item rack allows you to not only equip your gear faster thanks to the pop-out slot menus, allowing you to quickly change single items quickly, but that's not the only reason why it's on this list. The power of item rack comes from its gear set function, allowing you to make full gear sets and then even bind them, running head-on into that undead rogue whilst you're in your PvE gear with 2k health. Well, no problem. With the press of one bind, you'll be in your PvP gear ready to fight. Alright, so for setup, it's relatively easy. Type forward slash item rack to bring up the interface. Then you're able to go into sets, name the set whatever you want, and put what items you want into that set. You're then able to bind the sets here with a key bind. Our next add-on is going to be Weak Horrors. Now, Weak Horrors is less of an add-on and more of a framework that allows you to add so many custom features into your interface. Once you have the add-on downloaded, you can go on over to Wago, IO and download potential weak horrors. There are tons of different features, including dead zone tracking, interrupt bars, timers for abilities. Pretty much, if you can think of something you want for your UI, there is probably a weak horror for it. And if you can't find it on the website, weak horrors is very simple to make with its easy to navigate interface. Now the reason I put Weak Horrors as a must-have PvP add-on is for one aura in specific, and that's the ability to track your debuffs on nameplates. Again, I've mentioned this a few times, in vanilla there is no focus frame, so your perspective is limited to only seeing your debuffs on the person you have targeted. Having debuffs on nameplates allows you to track your crowd control, track your damage over time effects, anything really. Every class can make good use of this and it's a must have when it comes to PvP in my opinion. And I've left the best till last. Our 10th add-on on this list is going to be Spy. Now I can't begin to explain how overpowered this add-on is when it comes to world PvP. What Spy does is scans for enemy players around you and then announces their presence when detected, as you can see here on the UI. Now the range on this add-on is absurd and allows you to be notified of enemies way before you're able to even see them. This is so strong for a few reasons. You're able to quickly and efficiently find out how many enemies are around you, including their class and also their level. This information can then help you decide to either hunt enemies in order to get some honourable kills, avoid fights where you're outnumbered, track down enemies and even be able to easily see when a rogue uses stealth nearby. But if you intend on ranking, this is the add-on every single player is going to need, just to purely find enemies. In terms of setup, Spy is very simple. Download the add-on, go into game and you'll be greeted with this bar. You can then resize and move it around to wherever you want on your UI. You can then type forward slash spy config for some more options. And you can even click on the statistics here to see recently seen enemies and even your win-loss versus them. Alright then guys, that was our top 10 must-have add-ons for player versus player for phase 2. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more up-to-date content. Thanks for watching.